Hey, what's up you guys? This is Mike from Oka Software. I'm just here to give a quick demo of auto exposure for URP. This is an asset that we developed for game developers like you and like me, um, who want to include physically based realistic eye adaptation in their game project. Uh, so auto exposure, basically the way it works is we sample all of the pixels on the screen. And then we use those pixels to create an average luminance factor. Um, and then using that average luminance factor, we convert it to an exposure value, which we then uh, make some adjustments to according to the fixed compensation, compensation curve, and other settings. And then we can take that information and return it back um, and use it to adjust the overall brightness of each pixel on the screen. So um, you can see here, I'm just looking around the scene, uh, showcasing some of the different features. One of the most interesting features is the adaptation setting mode. So you can use an instant setting where the camera adapts instantaneously to changes in the scene brightness or a progressive mode setting where the camera adjusts in a similar way as your eye would to um, changes in the scene brightness. So a small value here will cause the uh, scene to adjust slowly to brightness changes whereas a very large value will cause the scene to adjust very quickly, the camera to adjust very quickly to changes in the scene brightness, as you can see here. There's also the metering procedural falloff setting. You can use either a texture or a procedural mask um, for the falloff. Um, in effect, using a procedural falloff just creates a radial filter um, where things further away from the center of the screen are considered less important by this filter. You can also adjust the fixed compensation and the compensation curves. Uh, setting a fixed compensation value of zero means that we'll just use sort of a default baseline level of exposure, um, whereas a fixed compensation value greater than zero will cause you to brighten the scene, and a value lower than zero will cause you to darken the scene. Together with the compensation curve, you can use these values to selectively underexpose or overexpose dark or otherwise bright scenes. Um, as you can see here, we're choosing to overexpose uh, bright scenes and underexpose the dark scenes. Sorry, the other way around. And um, yeah, uh, it's a pretty effective asset, I think, at um, kind of simulating the eye adaptation effect. You can also use the upper bound and lower bound to uh, sort of create boundaries around the uh, extent to which you want the brightness to influence the scene. So you can see here, we're kind of adjusting it around these two clamped values. So this is the auto exposure for URP. Thanks for staying the whole time to watch. I uh, would really appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel, give this video a like and comment what you'd like to see more. And I'll uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day.